Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at iCloud.com. So what is iCloud.com? Well, it's the website that goes along with your iCloud account. Now, a lot of people, I'm surprised, don't know about this, don't use it. It is very useful if you want to access iCloud on a computer that doesn't support iCloud in the operating system, like say a Mac with Snow Leopard or maybe a Windows machine without the iCloud extensions installed. You can get to a lot of things like your email and contacts and calendar just by going to this website using any browser on any modern computer. So when you do it by just going to iCloud.com once you're there, if you're not signed in already, you're asked to sign in. I'm already signed in here as you can see. I can access some account preferences here or I can jump into one of these apps. Now, there may be more apps being added in the future, uh, but these cover the basics right now in June of 2012. So, for instance, if you want to look at your email, just tap on email there. And it actually looks a lot like the Mail app on Mac. Matter of fact, it has a lot of the same buttons here. You can select an email. You can archive it. You can respond, uh, you can put it into a folder, uh, you can compose a new message. Uh, it works just a lot like if you're just using mail. You can see here even in the controls and everything are kind of the same. Uh, and you can go through different boxes here, create new folders, do all sorts of stuff uh, with your email. You can even click on preferences here and go into preferences and you have a lot of the same preferences you have in mail. Uh, you can set signatures, uh, work with accounts, uh, you can set different rules even, uh, or even vacation responses. So a lot of things you can do here in the web version of iCloud Mail uh, just like you could do it if you were using mail. So it doesn't leave uh, Snow Leopard users out or even if you're mobile going from computer to computer you have a lot of access to your me.com email. Going back to the main iCloud interface, you also can get access to your contacts. So here you've got, it looks just like address book and you can go through, uh, look at the different groups, uh, go into a individuals here and edit, do all sorts of things just like you could in address book. Even different settings and preferences for contacts all in the web based app. And likewise here's calendars. So you can get into your calendar here and you can see this does indeed look a lot like the regular app, uh, the iCal app or calendar as it will be called the Mountain Lion. And you can add different events and edit them here. And then you also have access to Find My iPhone, which of course is very useful because if somebody's sold your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad and you're using this feature, um, you could do it from a friend's computer by logging into your iCloud account. Um, and you have iWork. So what iWork is, is it's your documents. And in Lion, we don't have access to these on the Mac. So these are things that I saved from my iPad, from the pages on my iPad. Now on Lion, this is the way I would get to them on my Mac. A lot of people don't realize this. You go, in, go to iCloud.com, you go into iWork documents here, click on keynote pages or numbers, and then you can select a document there and download it. Um, and in Mountain Lion, of course, you'll have direct access in the open and save dialog boxes to the same documents. You also have preferences here to delete uh, documents or upload a new one from your Mac that will then be accessible with your iOS devices. So very handy for not only uh, Snow Leopard users but also Lion users as well. So for iCloud users, of course, you should get familiar with the web version of iCloud here because it's very useful uh, for going to other computers, for using older Macs, uh, and for having access to your documents between Macs and iOS when you're using Lion or earlier. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.